Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Birchfield again. Today, we are gonna continue our historical fiction learning. I love reading about history. I love that when I'm reading a historical fiction book, I know that somewhere, someone at some time experienced something so similar to what I'm reading. I love that I can use my research skills to help me understand what I'm reading about in a better way. Let's get started with today's lesson. Today, readers, I wanna teach you that we read historical fiction. We often study photographs and illustrations from the time period, synthesizing them into the relevant parts of our book to better understand the time period. Readers, let's give this a try with this picture. This is a picture of King Christian X of Denmark. As I was researching our read aloud book, Number of the Stars, I came across this photograph and it made me think about the passage that we had read. When Anne Marie was talking to Christy about King Christian, this is what it said in the book. King Christian was a real human being, a man with a serious, kind face. Each morning he had come from the palace on his horse, Jubilee, and ridden alone through the streets of Copenhagen, greeting his people. When I first read that, I pictured a big, strong horse with big feathers in his mane, sort of like a fairy tale. I tried to picture the king. I thought maybe he'd be wearing a crown or a cape. The first thing I'm thinking is whether this picture fits what I had been thinking. I had been picturing this fairy tale man and a horse with feathers and capes kind of galloping through a dark street. But the first thing I notice in this picture is how real it is. In the foreground, or in the front of the picture, there is a very tall, serious man riding a very large horse, but it doesn't have feathers, but he does look proud. Next, I take a minute and I notice the details in the picture, the background, what's happening behind King Christian. I see very ordinary looking people, I even notice a girl on our bike. It looks like a parade. I try to understand people's experiences and their perspectives. So what am I learning by looking at this picture? I learned that Danish people ride bikes. I also noticed that there are no guards separating the king from the people. And I can see why Anne Marie admires King Christian so much. Can't you? No wonder the Danish people loved him. He looks admirable with all his people following along behind him. So now this is what I will picture when I'm reading about King Christian and Jubilee. Readers, here are some charts that have some questions that we can use when we're doing some additional research to help us in our historical fiction. We can use images to deepen our understanding of what we read. What does the picture remind you of in the book? Make sure we look at all of the parts of the picture. We wanna notice the foreground, what's in the front, the background, the margins, the corners, analyzing and searching for every little detail. Compare what you're seeing in the real image or that primary resource to what you see in your own mind as you were reading. And then think about how will this picture affect your envisioning of what you read in the future. The second chart has some questions. Ask, what part of the novel do outside sources fit with? What part of the novel raises questions? Where would I wanna do some additional research? Study the big parts 
and the details and ask, does this fit with what I know or does it add to what I want to know? Readers, I have one more picture for you that goes along with our read aloud number, the stars. This picture is very different from the parade of King Christian and Jubilee. This next picture that I want you to look at is what was it like when the Nazis came to occupy Copenhagen? Take a minute, jot down your thoughts. Look in the foreground of this picture. What's the main focus? Look in the background. Look in the corners. Look in the margins. When you look at this picture, you're noticing that this was a force that was coming into Copenhagen, that Anne Marie and her family were resisting. It was not just a few soldiers on the street corners. This occupation was completely taking over their city. Readers, today as you read, use images to deepen your understanding of your independent reading book. Search online to find images that might fit with some passages in your book, or you could use our read aloud number the stars. If you can't use the internet, look for images in magazines or brochures or other resources. Choose a few strong images and keep them handy as you start reading. After you examine an image and think about it, jot a few notes. What are your thoughts or insights? Remember to describe the imagery as suggested in those charts. And think about and answer this key question. How does looking at the image affect how you envision your reading? Happy reading.